M0FXB ICOM ID50 using DPRS and showing up on APRS FI. Just going to show you my settings. So into Google, just put it put in APRS FI and to track your call sign, just type up here on the right hand side M0FXB. I've just put me in as a test dash four for now. Search and it will you know it will find you basically. And there I am showing up and I've added a very short message hi and it's got my some position information there. I can track in street view. So DPRS isn't the same as APRS, but it's good enough to show up on APRS FI. I'm going to show you my settings now. I don't get a GPS lock where I am, so I have to use manual. So let's just do one thing at a time. We're in DR mode. To go into DR mode, we hold down DR. And we are having to use my hotspot to get it out onto the internet. On my hotspot, you can see here, just go dashboard. You, you'd communicate with your hotspot, putting in your, the IP address of your of your hotspot, which there is a whole learning curve to hotspots. Anyway, configuration. But I'm sure that if you're using a repeater, you could still, you know, you could still send out your, your position details. So just, here's my config. D star is on. And I've selected APRS host enable, and I've got APRS host here. And we're using M0 FXP, B and G, just the usual settings, reflect to one Charlie, dash back to dashboard. You can see there, if I click my call sign, it says GPS here. We get this nice long list here. But I find that the best way to do it is just to set up your SSID. So if we look at the actual radio, in DR mode using use reflector and at the bottom we've got my hotspot selected we'll go to menu across to GPS GPS set GPS select at the top and I've selected manual and if you select on it will just search and lock to your GPS and that'll work fine but you do need a lock and the way you know it's locked is that the GPS logo will stay on it won't flash Otherwise, manual. Now, you do need to set up a manual position. Let's go back one. GPS option. I've left that. I've basically turned all these on. That's the SBAS, the GLONASS. Selecting these and looking. Back with the, v, the VMH button. Satellite information. I just left that as default. Manual position is down one. And then you click quick button here and you can click edit and you can start to load your position. When you've done it, remember to click right. Just select it and just start to type. Turn the knob and enter. Go back to GPS. GPS text mode, which is the next one down. I've selected DPRS. TX format, I've just gone in there, so let's start from the beginning so you know, so we go GPS, GPS text mode, DPRS, enter, TX format, we've got position, so you want your symbol, press enter and you can go up and down, select the symbol, I've got the walking man, go down one, SSID, I've just selected minus four, now each digit means something, so look that up on Google. Comment, I just put the word high in, you can see that on the screen. Time stamp, I haven't changed that. Altitude, I've left that just as on. And then data extension, course and speed. Pretty sure that's all I've done. So you won't see the GPS flashing. See the way my screen says DV, then a little arrow, and then just the usual settings. So hopefully that when you transmit the thing about DPRS, it does transmit your position, but it does it whilst your it does it with your voice communication. So it's not APRS, it's DPRS, which is different. So hopefully that'll help you set things up and you'll be able to show up on APRS FI like me. So let's just um quickly do a quick test call. If no one's talking, let's have a listen. Extremely unusual for September. Um, we get the odd. Warm day, but not a spell. 
It looks like someone's talking, but when you transmit, you will give out your location, it will come up on their screen, but you will also show up on APRS FI when you've got DPRS turned on. And the interesting thing, just quickly with the D74, is that it does DPRS and APRS, so that's quite interesting. Bye for now, 7-3. Please remember to like and subscribe.